Hello, this is George Senda, the official, the real, the authentic, the original, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube imposters, commentators, or trolls. This is my haul video. I'm running very late. I have to go feed the cats. It's pitch dark out there. I got back late from Walnut Creek. I made a payment on my Capital One card, both of them, 30 and 25. And this is what I got from the store tonight. And uh, tomorrow, Kathy and Patty will be at Sun Valley Mall. i got to give Kathy $15. She's bitching about that. What else is new? But she'll get money next week. And uh, I told her I have to have cat litter and food for the next week. And uh, I'm not getting it from anywhere else. Okay, we have waffles. No maple syrup. Neither. We have three smart ones. Dinner and breakfast ham and cheese scramble. We have 11, we have 12 cups of Malmix seafood for the cats. Tomorrow we'll get a bag of 35 pound cat litter. We have pineapple chunks. We have the ever popular peach snapple. I'll be posting a video later because I don't understand the fascination of going to a drive through and having cars lined up like cordwood, buying coffee and fruit water, and flavored water. Fruit drinks. I'm good. Okay, we have two things of Dinky More Beef Stew. And then we these were on sale. We lowered the price to $239. And three cat food cans for my cats. A fancy feast, uh, whitefish and tuna in gravy. So that's it. Um, and next week I will be going out shopping. Next Friday I will be live. And then uh, Patty invited me to go with her. She has a gym membership. I might do that tomorrow. I might not. Um, my neighbor complained, or somebody complained about their scooter being on the balcony, saying we're blocking their way. I moved everything off the balcony almost. Moved the scooter all the way to the wall of my apartment where the window is. No, everybody can get mine, but tomorrow I may have to move it again in, or move it tonight in the apartment. I wrote the director of housing and said, this is ridiculous. One problem with your employees, they want everything done now, but if something needs to be repaired, they take months, a year, or never at all. It's a double standard here, and it's not right. And I said, also, you want to talk about blocking the dozens of plants and tables blocking the balcony, where I can't come by on this scooter or any other one, where a gurney, if there's an emergency and they have to transport a patient down the balcony, they can't get them down the balcony because there's no room for an ambulance gurney. But you're worried, you're my apartment manager and the neighbor next door are worried about my scooter blocking the way. But last night, some black woman came up to my door at about 11.30, knocked on my door on writing an email. And do you know anybody in the building that smokes? And I didn't think of the rejoinders. I could have made, no, I'm not Smokey the Bear. No, I don't know anybody who smokes, nor do I know anybody who smolders but, or vapes. I said, no, I have asthma, I don't smoke, sorry. She said, okay, and she walked off. She went right by the scooter to come in my front screen door and right back down the balcony. I never saw her before. I have no idea who she was, but I get weird people coming to my end of the balcony. I don't know what the hell it is. It's like being alone in Martin's lap, and, and they open the door, and there's a weird person at my door staring inside. Drives me crazy, you know. I had a guy come here at 3 in the morning, wanted to use my phone. I want to be your friend, and I had never seen him before in my life. I'm not letting you into my apartment at 3 in the morning. Go away. Not be mean, but you're weird. You don't come to someone's house at 3 in the morning unannounced. And uh, I don't, I certainly wouldn't do that without a call first. And then only if it was an emergency, I'm going to wake him up in the middle of the night. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay cool. It's going to be 95 here tomorrow. It is 86 in the living room and muggy. It's been muggy all day. I walked to the bus and it was muggy. And by the way, I'm not riding the scooter. My knee hurt today. So but the scooter will be gone on September 6th. And then I start saving up for the enclosed scooter with the air conditioning, the heater, the windshield wipers. It has fog lights. They will put AM radio in. A USB C and A charging ports. They'll put in uh, Wi Fi. I think it already has Wi Fi and Bluetooth. And they'll put in two plugs to plug in an air purifier and whatever device I need to plug it in. Maybe a charger for the iPads or whatever or a GoPro. So sometime next year I'll have that. I'll 
I have all my credit paid off, and then I can just call them up. Here's my here's my debit card. Pay for it. Pay the tax and the duty, and they'll deliver it to the dealer. And it will be delivered for free here, and then I can get in it and go anywhere I want. It's got a large range. By the way, I saw a very funny, I don't think it, I think it was unintentionally funny. The guy walked up and he was walking worse than I was. He was walking like this. And he looked like he was 70 going on 900. And then also like he'd had about a six year drunk. And what he did, he took the motors out of a motorized scooter, much like mine, about the same like mine. He put brush, two brushless motor is, motor, motors in it and put a BMW battery in it. And instead of going five miles an hour, it goes 40. He raced up the street with that thing once he got on it. But he looked like he was hungover. <laughs> but I said, I don't technically how to do that. I get a used scooter, put two new motors in it, and got a car battery. That thing will haul. Now, I don't know if you can stop, but it would certainly go fast. All right, this is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh. You need a used scooter, put new tires on it for 500 bucks. Have a great night. I'll be back next time. Bye-bye for now, and stay cool. See you later.